Okay, what's up guys? Um My face cam this was place blocking is definitely the options. not what it used to be. This is part two of Chernobyl Light. Uh part one was just introduction, I lost track of time, that was way too long. I'm sorry. So yeah, but because we're gonna do our daily missions. So yeah, you will start each day with planning. Choose which mission you will do personally and which you will entrust to Olivia. Choose wisely, you can only complete one mission each day. I'm trying to read up the camera in the way. So yeah. You can see everything from here. You cannot succeed alone. But there are others who will help you. I'm not sure what to do first. Should I tell Olivier to run some errands, or should I do it myself? So, if you've seen in the corner, Olivier, this is what I'm giving him to do. I can have him stay in the base. Uh, 80% is like his uh, chance of survival or coming back or being successful. Because he could still come back alive, but not with like his supplies so the thing that he's most likely going to have success in is 86 is 86 percent in this ammo thing so I'm just gonna give that to yeah and for me So, medicine, medicine, I think, ammo, ammo, or I stay here, which I'm not going to. Um, probably do some medicine. Yeah, so we'll just, when we're done, we can start the missions. Uh, missions do not have to be successful. We can be kidnapped, injured, killed. Uh, but hunger will kill you just as quick, so kind of want to do these missions. So yeah, here we go. Our first mission. Okay, I had to move my camera again because it keeps on getting in the way. So yeah, but there's basically nothing this way and a whole bunch of stuff this way. Either just could be guards or stuff. And in case there are guards, I'm actually gonna get my gun in hand. Oh, we got ten bullets, I think. Uh, seven are each, uh, thing before I have to reload. I don't know what you would call it. Because I'm not a gun expert. But yeah, we just gotta be careful. Try not to waste our ammo. Uh, even though Olivia is going on the ammo thing. We aren't. Plus, we still want to be careful. Uh, how much... That scared me. Just a flashback. What's taking you so long? See? It's all just flashbacks. It's not a random woman. Find me, love. Got mechanical parts. That's nice. Although, this is not meant to be a horror game. Like, there are definitely some jump scares or just stuff about it, so yeah. Can we get down here? Is it too steep? That's definitely a guard. I'm gonna try to... Oh, it's just the locksmith. Hello, fellow prospector. I'm looking for someone. A tall, hunched man with long brown hair. Maybe you've seen him. No, I'm sorry. What's this all about? I'm looking for my brother, Athanasius. He vanished without a trace a while back. I've been looking everywhere. A 
And what have you both been doing here anyway? The zone's a dangerous place. Well, don't expect me to reveal our trade secrets, but... Well, let's just say there are many unclaimed riches still here in Pripyat. Really? Like what? You've got a nice aura. I'll let you discover that for yourself. I've got a nice what? <sighs> Never mind. I'm looking for someone as well. I'll keep an eye out for your brother. Thank you, my good sir. May Lady Luck smile upon your prospecting. Safe I'm travels, gonna... my friend. Oh, and take this. Perhaps it will come in handy. Take a lockpick. Um, it's only one. So I guess it breaks after one lockpick. So yeah, um... Or maybe you keep it forever, and if you have two, you can just give one to Olivia or someone. I'm just kind of exploring the place. So, the gun mechanics are nice. Oh, you can go through here. It's like there's a building up here. A whole town. I don't think you can get under there. I don't know if there's anyone here, probably. I'm just gonna, yeah, this is definitely, yeah, a town before the disaster. <coughs> my hair looks nice today, like, out of any video I think I've ever done, I think this is the nicest my hair has ever looked. Like, I, I was looking at the mirror at school, like, wow. Cause my hair usually like all the gel comes out at like one at school. My hair just is horrible, comes down. But I don't know, it just stays in extra well today. There's a flare up there. It's probably the medicine. I'll go back and get those. At any time, we can head back to the base of the. Got what it's called. I'm just gonna. Portal generator. It's probably the medicine. So then I could car engine, maybe even a generator. They show danger, right? It's like... I don't know what it is. I don't want to get caught. It says I need to go here. I think it's this making noise. That or this, maybe? It's a bright flare. I don't think anyone's here. Quest complete. Um. Shotgun slug, revolver ammo, and rifle ammo. The shotgun slug, shotgun ammo, I don't know. Um. Jeez, we now have 14. That was only 4 bullets. And how is this medicine? I could have sworn it said medicine. I don't know. Well, I had a plus, which usually that means like medicine or heal. Maybe that just meant like plus, like plus, like extra supplies maybe. But yeah, we can always get the portal gun out, but there's a whole bunch of stuff that I kind of want to explore. Splinter. The KGB operator's nickname. <laughs> I'll probably never know who he really was. 
I don't think I need to read this, but this was May 12th, 1967. I don't think there's anything else in here. <coughs> I don't know how long this video is right now. Probably like 12 minutes only. Um. Yeah. I there's, there's no one here, I'm probably just gonna get out my environmental analysis. Put the mushrooms. So we got lots more mushrooms. Just so much mushrooms. Um, I think someone's near. I heard something about a doggy dog. Here we go. This video's gonna cut. Wonder what the quartermaster made for dinner tonight. I think I heard something. Checking. I'm gonna have to go in a second. Still here. Where even is this guy? It's just one guy. One guy. Get him. Where? Oh, I don't want to look around. We've got oh. you now, stalker. Stalker. Hey, hold up over there. We need to lure him out. You know I can hear everything you say. Get over the fence. Uh -oh. It's Kim and Yuk. Get him quick. Shoot, stab him. Get behind cover and shoot. That was horrible. That was super horrible. The guys who's right there in the bush. This is obviously uh, not the same day, cause I had to leave in the middle of the recording. But yeah. So. I believe there's still one more guard. Maybe not. So yeah, I'm just gathering resources at the moment. Alcohol.
Yeah. So, I'm gonna go to this question mark. It's not really a question mark. It's more like a circle. Isn't this back where we saw the guy? I don't know. Yeah, it was. Hello, fellow prospector. Do you have any... hotter stuff? I thought you would never ask. I don't have enough. Safe travels, my friend. Got some flammable parts. Is that what I'm trying to get down there? Yeah, that is. <clears throat> Just have to find out how to get down there. Found it again. <clears throat> but yeah, um, I, yeah, there might be danger down here. that happened. I, I can't see a thing. It's so dark at my... I'll be back for that. No. <sighs> 
okay. <laughs> <coughs> I feel like something's about to pop out, out any moment and scare me. At least try to fight me. I don't think this is in English. <clears throat> yeah. Electronic parts, yeah. Okay, yeah, so we are going to go into here. Christ, what kind of experiments have the KGB been conducting? Is the NAR trying to continue their work? Looks like they're <clears throat> they are <clears throat> they are doing experiments, um injecting people with stuff. Is what it was saying. <clears throat> and we got lots of stuff. Electronic parts. Is the computer still ready? <clears throat> chemicals, chemicals. Chemicals. It looks like <clears throat> That's it. It's for impairment of the immune system <clears throat> or response. see a thing at all. It's so dark. Mm. It looks like this is the we got one more thing. <clears throat> Some more tunnels. Have to explore this a different day because the video is getting longer than I'd want. So yeah, this concludes the first ever mission.
Yep, so we're going back to our base. So yeah. <clears throat> I think this approach is working, Igor. Looks like we can sneak in and out of the zone without attracting attention. So, how did it go? Are you any closer to finding your old lady? You still want to go back to the power plant? I have to go back. I have the strongest feeling she's there. Feelings? You surprise me, Professor Kimenyuk. Trusting your instincts is important. But last time we tried that, we lost Anton. We need some hard evidence before we go down that road again. <laughs> Don't worry, Olivier. I'm not crazy. I'll keep gathering evidence, and when I've got enough, we can formulate a new plan. Good. Evidence, plans, information, resources. It will all get us closer to your goal, Igor. How did you do today? I'll brief you in a minute. First, let me point out a couple of things to you. Go on. You need to understand the role you're in. You hired me and rented this warehouse. That makes you the commander of this base. It means you will be in charge of all our equipment and, most importantly, our food rations. You have to start thinking like a strategist, like this is a military operation. Organize the base and take care of your troops. That's number one. Starving is no fun, I know from experience. Forget to feed your troops and their morale will drop. They might even desert you. Also, in situations where resources are scarce, there's a group psychology to consider. Playing favorites, rewarding those who slack off, and not appreciating the men who pull their weight are surefire ways of creating discord amongst the men. What men? There are only two of us. For now, but that has to change if you want your power plant operation to succeed. We need more power, more intel, more skill, and more bodies. And each of those bodies will need space, food, and resources in this base. I know you're eager to bolt out there and continue your search, but you need to be patient. Plan. Strategize. Take it slow. You have to find time to cater to the needs of your companions and manage this warehouse. If you don't, all your plans will be for nothing. You're right. I need to be smart about all of this. Absolutely. And remember, I'm here for you. I will advise and support you every step of the way. That's what you're paying me for. So yeah. <clears throat> we get... I don't know. We have six rations. So I'll give me a normal. And I'll give him uh, a normal. So yeah, this is where the video is going to end. We completed our first mission. Um... So yeah, we got ammo, we got rations, we got As a military supplies. man, I'm used to sleeping rough, but is it really necessary? So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's uh, video. Um, yeah, bye.